Mobile gaming is the biggest gaming platform in the world, and mobile gamers love their offline games. Offline games are chill, which pairs well with the phone, but they can sometimes be hard to find. So in this video, I'm going to reveal the top 10 mobile offline games of 2024. Okay, this is one of the most common requests I get, and there are a lot of offline games. I tried to pick a variety so that everyone will find something they'd like. If you find that one of these games is not your cup of tea, make sure to skip to a different game using the timestamps up there or in the YouTube player itself. The first game on our list is Little Nightmares. Unfortunately, this game costs $9, so I know that's gonna be a huge deterrent to many of you, but there is something to be said for a game that you just buy and you own, and it isn't going to try and hit you with a bunch of microtransactions. This game was ported by Pledigious, which is one of my favorite mobile game publishers because they always do a really quality job. Little Nightmares is an adventure horror game that puts players into a hauntingly beautiful yet nightmarish setting aboard a mysterious sea vessel, where they assume the role of a child adorned in a distinctive raincoat. The vessel is not only filled with deadly traps, but is also inhabited by grotesque and terrifying humanoid creatures, all seemingly driven by a malevolent intent to consume the player's character. The narrative unfolds as players navigate the eerie environment, revealing the unsettling truth behind the ship and its monstrous inhabitants. What sets Little Nightmares apart is its deliberate lack of combat for the majority of the gameplay. Faced with adversaries of staggering proportions, engaging in direct confrontation becomes an implausible option. Instead, players must master the art of stealth, skulking through the shadows to avoid the clutches of the grotesque denizens who relentlessly pursue to the protagonist. The second game on our list is Road Redemption. This roguelike combat racing game could not be more different than Little Nightmares. And that's good because we wanted to give you guys a lot of variety in the games that we mentioned here. Road Redemption is the best of its kind, engaging players in intense races on a variety of tracks where they must kick, bash, and slam into their opponents to secure victory. While Road Redemption encourages players to employ ruthless tactics to eliminate opponents, it also retains an arcade racing style. The objective is not only to outwit rivals with tricks, but also to race ahead and be the first to reach the finish line. However, this time it's a matter of using any means necessary rather than simply flooring the gas pedal to claim victory. As players navigate through diverse landscapes, including deserts and city streets, they gather an arsenal of weaponry to engage rivals in combat. The third game on our list is the Battle of Politopia. This game has been around for a little while, but it is having a resurgence in popularity and it is honestly one of of the most classic offline games for the phone. The game is a turn-based world-building strategy game, offering players engaging short play sessions and the allure of randomly generated maps that contribute to the game's enduring interest. The Battle of Pelotopia embraces many of the core ideas of strategy without being overwhelmingly complex. You begin by selecting one of four tribes, each inspired by cultures from diverse corners of the world. The fundamental mechanics involve expanding your civilization by enhancing the land, acquiring villages, and boosting population, thereby earning stars essential for unlocking new skills. These acquired skills in turn open up additional possibilities such as scaling mountains or navigating the vast ocean. The primary objective in Polytopia's main game mode is to either defeat all adversaries or secure the highest score within the limited span of 30 turns. Achieving this goal demands a delicate balance of kingdom expansion, meticulous research into new technologies, and strategic preparation of a formidable army for upcoming conflicts. The fourth game on our list is Hot, an ultra-stylish post-apocalyptic Metroidvania game. In the desolate landscapes of Hot, players will encounter various adversaries, including mutilated animals and giant mechanical bugs. The gameplay mechanics involve more than simple running and jumping, with a quick-fire hookshot emerging as a primary means of traversing. This dynamic tool adds an extra layer of strategy to both exploration and combat, contributing to the game's overall appeal. Unlike some Metroidvania titles that focus on hair-tearing difficulty, Hawk takes a different approach. The game prioritizes delivering a fast and fluid experience that is accessible to a broader audience. While the game is designed to be enjoyable for players of varying skill levels, those seeking a greater challenge can still find satisfaction in extra challenges that test their mettle. The fifth game on our list is Tangle Tower, an exciting point-and-click adventure that seamlessly blends charismatic characters with a captivating narrative, offering players the opportunity 
opportunity to engage in genuine detective work within a humorous and slightly eccentric setting. The game unfolds as a mystery, challenging players to unravel the intricacies of a murder investigation where the primary suspect happens to be a painting. What sets Tangle Tower apart is not only its engaging storyline, but also the vibrant character art, meticulous animation, and a handcrafted narrative that collectively elevates the gaming experience. The characters each have distinctive personalities, contributing to a rich and immersive environment that encourages players to immerse themselves fully in the unfolding mystery. As players navigate the twisted manner, the game prompts them to maintain a keen eye for clues while tackling a variety of puzzles. The sixth game on our list is Slay the Spire, an innovative fusion of card games and roguelites that offer an unparalleled single player deck building experience. Players craft a unique deck, encounter bizarre creatures as they embark on a challenging quest to slay the spire. At the core of Slay the Spire lies dynamic deck building where each attempt at scaling the spire provides an opportunity to discover hundreds of cards to enhance one's deck. The strategic selection of cards that synergize seamlessly is paramount in efficiently dispatching adversaries and ascending to the pinnacle. Every ascent up the spire offers a fresh encounter as the layout changes each time. Players can choose risky or safe paths, face different enemies, and encounter various relics and bosses, creating a sense of exciting unpredictability. The seventh game on our list is Golf Odyssey 2. In this game, players have the opportunity to explore new golf courses that have been visually enhanced compared to its predecessor. Despite its tranquil ambience and laid-back soundtrack, the game presents a fair share of challenges. Players must bring their best skills to the tee as they strive to compete each hole and unlock access to even more courses. A ranking system adds an extra layer of engagement, allowing players to tackle various challenges and advance in the game. The captivating landscapes in Golf Odyssey 2 provide a picturesque backdrop for players, ranging from silhouetted mountains against the backdrop of a setting sun to mesmerizing cityscapes. The eighth game on our list is After Place, a Zelda-inspired open-world adventure game. In this top-down 2D RPG, you take on the role of an unknown kid who wakes up in a strange place, referred to by locals as simply the island. You learn that all sorts of beings and creatures have slipped through the cracks of the universe to end up on the island with no way to leave. You embark on a quest to assist the child in unraveling the mysteries of this island, and with any luck, find a way to reunite with their own world. The narrative unfolds against the backdrop of an uncharted and ever-surprising world that offers a refreshing break from conventional waypoints. In After Place, there is no predefined paths or guides to lead the way. Instead, you must forge your unique trail, delving into the concealed labyrinths and dungeons hidden within the island's obscure corners. The ninth game on the list is Grim Valor, a 2D Souls-like action platformer renowned for its uncompromising difficulty and engaging hack-and-slash combat mechanics. The game presents players with a daunting challenge, featuring hardcore platforming segments and combat encounters where they must skillfully defend against multiple adversaries. Their narrative unfolds in the harsh and unforgiving realm of Valaris, a forgotten kingdom that exudes brutality and hostility. The central objective is to unravel the mysteries surrounding the missing King of Valaris, a quest that propels players into a variety of grim and treacherous landscapes. The journey through these perilous environments serves as a backdrop for the relentless action and exploration that defines Grim Valor. Players are immersed in a world where they must master the game's sophisticated combination of hack and slash combat and intricate platforming challenges. Grim Valor's reputation is built upon its ability to deliver an elegant and punishing game experience. The harmonious integration of combat finesse, platforming precision, and exploration elements contributes to the game's allure. The tenth game on the list is Scourgebringer. Primarily, it's a roguelike game, which means it involves substantial meta progression between runs, emphasizing the goal of clearing as many rooms as possible before inevitably succumbing to the game's challenges, only to rise and try again. The game also features fluid shooting combined with Metroidvania mechanics and melee combat. The core gameplay of Scourgebringer brings a resemblance of a 2D platform, albeit intensified with action and remarkable speed. Players will engage in fierce combat against a diverse range of adversaries and formidable bosses that occupy entire rooms. The progression revolves around room-to-room -room navigation, offering a straightforward yet demanding premise. Well, that's it guys. Hope that helps. This video covers offline games generically. If you want to know about more, you can check out one of my other genre videos that covers even more games, some of which can be played offline. Alright guys, I'll see you next time.